Alright guys, so I'm here with Drug Tank and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I actually did this kind of uh, video where I show my face. But, well, after MCO, got my hair cut and I'm ready to do another unboxing for you guys. So, today, we're going to be looking at a product from uh, 70 Mai, which is basically a division of Xiaomi. So, I bet many of you guys don't know that I'm actually big on cars. I love cars, not only tech. So I do look for a lot of tech stuff which I can install in my car to make my car a little more sophisticated than it really is. So a little background is that I am currently using a Honda Civic 10 generation. I uh, bought it in 2018 and I got all sorts of uh, upgrades on it done. So if you do want me to do an in-depth review on the mods which I actually installed, you can put it in the comments below and I will try my best to get the video out. So I've spent about in the ballpark of uh, around 20,000 ringgit on my car and uh, it's more focused on performance parts rather than cosmetic. I did get my car wrapped though in uh, matte black. Basically that's about it for external and I also did change my rims and of course tint my lights and you know the basic stuff but not too much on cosmetics but more on performance side. So in this package right here I have a tire pressure monitoring system which is basically a TPMS in short. So ensuring that your car tires are always well inflated is actually very crucial in uh, using your car daily because it helps improve gas mileage. Doesn't get your tires worn out so quickly. You can use it for a longer distance. And also for safety purposes, I mean you always want to ensure that the load that you're carrying and also the tire pressure are as the manufacturer recommended. So a TPMS system ensures that you always have the optimum amount of air pressure for your tire and that's what I have right here this is not too expensive I got it for around about 189 ringgit but of course this is the external sensor why external and why not internal because external is much easier for maintenance wise of course it's not that accurate in terms of the tire air temperature but it's definitely better for maintenance in the long run so without further ado let's get this baby unboxed so I get so enough of it's okay at this package. Let me slice this open right here. Alright, so very nice packaging. Alright, so here's the TPMS itself. I put the package to the side. And by the way, this is a global version of the tire pressure monitoring system because there's also a China version, but I don't think there's any difference except for the manuals. Alright, so let's take a look around the box. You can see right here. Tire pressure monitoring system light. This is a light version because it does not have an internal sensor. It has an external sensor which screws onto the valve cap. Actually, more like replaces the valve cap. Not too accurate in terms of the temperature, but in terms of the pressure wise, I've read reviews that it's pretty much the same. It's not about difference in one PSI. So it's not too bad. I mean, I can live with that, but at least I know that my tires are almost well inflated. All right, so right here, Nothing really much. That's so how you can see the website. See the product itself, the title of the product. Okay, that's about it. Let me cut open the seal. Cut open the wrapper. Okay, right here you can see 70 my. Let's see how easy it is to get this box open. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I've seen other reviewers struggling with it, but uh, fortunately, not me. Okay, you can see all the manuals are in English. You see right here, 70 my tire pressure monitoring system light. The user manual. So this shows you how to get your TPMS set up. Alright, so you can see right on top here, you have the device itself which connects to the sensors. So this actually shows your temperature, your air pressure, and so on and so forth. There's also a solar panel right here, so it charges if you do leave your car parked out in the sun. So it's a good thing. That means I don't have to plug in the USB cable. I don't have to have cables dangling around in my car. You can see right here, this is a micro USB. Nice and simple. Okay, the bottom here, there's a sticky pad. I'm assuming this is a 3M kit. I'm not really sure. I bet it is. Okay, the, let me close the flap and you can see the power on button is right here. Does it work? 
I bet there's no charge in it. Okay, but I'll get it charged. And I'll go through the setup with you guys later on on my car itself. Okay, removing the top. This is uh, definitely a micro USB cable. So to get it charged up, I guess. And right here we have some stickers. You can closer look. So you stick this on your rims, but I'm not gonna stick it on my rims because I think it will really ruin the look of my rims. So I'll probably stick it at the fender, inside the fender arch. All right, so we get to the side. Let's see what else do we have. Another layer. All right, so we have uh, a spanner and some uh, bolts. I bet this is to actually lock the TPMS sensors. All right, so that to the side. We also get a key. Not sure what this key is. Where they can I separate them? I bet I could. Because I think this is actually to tighten the TPMS itself. Let's see the sensors itself. Okay, if you are wondering about the weight of these sensors, it's, it's, it has some weight to it, but it's not too, as you say, not too heavy that it will probably cause your balancing to go out. But it's definitely good to get some balancing done to your rims and tires once you have this installed. Alright, so let's go through these sensors one by one and see this is left rear. So it's all stated clearly. It's pretty big. I don't know what I think about this though. But well, everything comes at a price. So this is your right rear. Right here we have your left rear. And last but not least. is your right front okay so you have to screw these accordingly because these are not configurable so definitely you have to follow this that will ensure that you're getting the right reading at the right side of your car or the right side of your tire i should say all right so that's about it in the package let's uh, take a look at the module itself let me get a usb cable and get this module plugged in all right guys so before i forget there's also an app which you can use to check on the status of the tire pressures of course and the temperature so you can see right here this is the 70 my app there's a qr code in the instruction manual but i do have it because i have a couple of uh, devices already connected my dash cam in fact so right here if you scroll down once you add device you can see right here 70 my tire pressure monitoring system light click on it Make sure your Bluetooth is enabled. Then you connect. Let's see next. See what happens. It should be searching for. Yes, right here. Click on it. Shows connecting. Complete. Okay, I just did that. All right. So right here, you can see. This is the status of the sensors because it's not installed you can see there's uh, no readings at all but there's also features that you can customize all right so you can see right here the top tire pressure setting because every car is different so you can actually set the max and the minimum amount right here so you can click on tire pressure settings so i wish this tire pressure unit would be able to be changed to psi or something i don't really use bar i mean malaysia doesn't use bar but anyway it is what it is so you have to do some conversion to get used to the bar all right you can see right here standard tire pressure of front wheels and then rear wheels and then you can see right here the conversion rate not not bad not bad at all so right here you can see temperature i'm not sure what is the optimum temperature but anyway i bet i'll just leave that to default okay let's go next all right so here you can bind sensor i'm not sure what that is screen luminance this is actually the brightness of the monitor right here so you click see it becomes brighter let me lower the brightness standard you can see it's too dim in fact i think we do have to make it on the highest setting so yes this definitely looks much better more legible especially in direct sunlight all right so next we have vibration awakening sensibility so i think standard should be good enough learning mode 
Now I'm not sure what this is, but I bet it's an automatic configuration of the sensors. So I'll try that on later. Right, so that's it for this app. And I'll see you guys at my car. Alright guys, so as you can see right here, I only got two sensors installed on my car because the other two is actually blocked by the wall. So I just wanted to show you guys how it works. So you can see I've installed the front right and the rear right. So you can see right here, only two shows up. So it's, it's pretty accurate, it's pretty fast. The car has been parked in the shade since a couple of days now. And uh, you can see that the temperature, I don't think it's really that hot at 32 degrees, but anyway, it is what it is. More importantly for me is actually the pressure, which is actually right here. You can see the front is 2.3 and the rear is 2.2. So I definitely do have to fill up my car tires because it's actually short of air. So you can see the functionality of uh, the tire pressure monitoring sensor right here. Okay, so let me leave that there. Let me show you the app real quick. All right, so here's the app. You can see right here. So it shows exactly what is on the TPMS uh, monitor screen as well. So you can see right here. Similar. So on the app, you can actually see it much clearer, of course. But of course, I won't be using this app because I don't think you need an app for a TPMS because I think that screen right there is more than adequate. I'm not sure where I'll be installing the monitor yet, but most likely it'll be right there next to my OBD2 meter. So you can see the interior of my car right here. Interior not much done except for some pedal shifters. All right, so getting back to the TPMS, do you really need a TPMS? And the answer is definitely yes, because I do like to keep my tires properly inflated. And I think that's very crucial, especially when you're driving the car on the daily if you have any questions or thoughts about this product you can hit me up in the comments below and if you want to purchase it i'll leave the link in the description below as well so if you do want me to actually do a review on the stuff which i've done to this car you can hit me up in the comments and i will try to make that happen for you guys all right so there's been a very quick unboxing and also review of the 70 my tpms and I'm really, really looking forward to trying this out. So that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.